Hey guys, this isn't uh, how I normally start my videos, especially not the law enforcement side, but I wasn't planning to record actually right now. I was just in patrol. Uh, my lovely police Taurus here. Uh, I'm responding to a call actually, and it seemed interesting enough, so I turned on my OBS to try and catch this one. Uh, we're responding code one, because it's not a high priority thing or priority at all. Uh, so no need to go all Larry. Um, we've got a report of a suspicious individual down in the docks at one of the buildings on Lysian Way. So we're just going to head down there and check things out. Um, I don't know why. It just seems there's something I should probably record and therefore I'm starting to do my speaking bananas. How the hell do I get down there? This way? Better be. Yeah, so I figured I'd just start going with things and see what happens. Uh, I think that's the way, question mark? Yes. Oh. Is? No, it's 70, not. 17, I'll be 10, 42. Cheeky, cheeky. 30, 11, I'll be 10, 8. So yeah, reports of a suspicious individual hanging around one of the... Uh, boat building companies down here so we're gonna go roll in and check it out and see what's going on this already feels like a live cops blogging style episode I got given a reference of where it is it's one of these ones down here on the left I know the area quite well, so I don't really need to go for, like, you know, looking at maps and directions and stuff, so. Control, not here. Control 301 will now be active oh. dispatch. Well, that's lucky. Control 301, 4013. 4013, go ahead. I believe all, all units are 10 8 on the CAD. 10 4. What five eleven dispatch? 45 11, go ahead. Uh, show me on scene Pacific Allied Shipyards, uh, Route 20 in place, uh, road, uh, security check. 10 4. Ready to gun out. Oh, get through that fence, so let's leave the car there. Five, Looks five, to be. Dispatch. Matching the description of the suspect, which was somebody acting suspicious in here where they shouldn't be, and a guy taking photographs at a shipyard tends to be a bit of an interesting one. Um, people around, so I should be okay. Hey, sir? Hello? Oh, hello. No. Oh. Hey. Hey, officer, how can I help you? Yeah, just want to come in over here a second. Need a quick chat. Yes. Yeah, okay, so, uh,. Okay, I'm Officer Riley with the Los Santos Police Department. Uh, we've had a call that somebody's down here acting a little suspiciously, wandering around where they shouldn't be. Um, I don't mean to be rude, of course, but you don't particularly match the average dock worker's description and you take a lot of photographs. I mean, do you work here or are you visiting any of the companies? No, from the cruise ship. The, they had like a four hour delay on getting the cruise ship started, so I figured I'd wander around, take some pictures for my blog and stuff. I didn't realize this was a restricted area. There was a back entrance that wasn't marked, but yeah, if I'm not supposed to be here, I can get out of here. And I'll just be taking pictures for my blog. No, it's, it's not restricted at all. It's just uh, one of the security guards that kind of patrols this area mentioned uh, your vehicle and you were taking pictures. Uh, he wasn't sure what was going on, so he just asked us to roll a unit down here and check things out. Um, if you're off a cruise ship and you've got a little layover, there are some beautiful places uptown, up in, uh, up in kind of that way, up into the city. Uh, Vinewood and Vespucci and all those areas. There's some gorgeous scenery. Del Perro, the pier. I'm mean, not sure what kind of blog you do, but the dockyards doesn't seem like a particularly alluring part of Los Santos. 
No, I, 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 I see how you would do it. No, it's about industrial sort of decay and urban decay and sort of the negative effect that, you know, excessive industrialization can have. So this area works for those type of photos. I mean, I may go up to Vinewood. I do have a few hours. How would I get there? It's like out of here, you know, like what is it, the two or the five? Uh, yeah, if you want to head out of here, you can head up uh, back up onto the uh, main drag up that way. Um, I've actually forgotten the road name. It's the, uh, the northbound dual carriageway. And you can head all the way up there. That will take you actually up all the way. And if you keep following it around, you cross over the US 13. And you'll end up pretty much on uh, Vinewood Drive. Ah, okay. Yeah, I may head up that way. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem. Like I say, just wanted to check up with things here. So, uh, like I said, not restricted area. If you're just taking photographs of your blog, that's absolutely fine. I can report that into my uh, my bosses. But it's had to come in down in here and check, okay? You have a good day, sir. And hopefully you enjoy your holiday. Yep, you do, Dinkum. Wow, that got very yellow all of a sudden. Okay, so... Seems like nothing, but also... I don't know. Hang on. Is that...? A guy on a layover from a cruise would probably come here in a taxi, wouldn't he? Not their own car. Or a rental car. Do you rent a car for four hours? Or would you just get a taxi to take you somewhere particular? not a huge fan of this so I'm gonna head back out here he went down here to the left didn't he Going right around the building I think did he go down that way Oh, that's a pillar. Oh my god, my driving. I have no idea where he went. No way out of here, so he's driven around the front of the buildings. Huh. I don't like this. Let's have another quick look. Out of character moment, but Professor's one of the more crafty sieves. I never trust him. Uh, I don't know if there's a way out of there. Interesting. I'm gonna try and get into that compound and take a just a bit of a drive around, and see what's going on. Forty seventeen. This car to go past this truck, and we'll try and see what's going on. 47, I'll wait 10 8, ready for calls. Got to be in the way in here. Dispatch oh, 10 hello. 6, 2 mics. That his car again? Yes, it is. Has he gone in there? Control 301 is back active primary. 7512 dispatch. 7512, go ahead. Uh, could you roll county tow to, uh, except, exceptionally, this for me? I got an abandoned, abandoned vehicle here. 10 4 county tow is in route. Uh, 5 mics. 10 4, thank you. 4017 dispatch. 4017, go over the top, is it? Mark me 10 8, uh, ready for calls. 10 4. Forty seventeen showing you 10 8. Hey guys, don't mind me, I'm just keeping an eye on something. All quiet down here, no one wandering around randomly or anywhere they shouldn't be. How long is that, uh, carbon parts over there? 4032. Just now, okay. 4032. You go ahead. 10 8. 10 4. Uh. I'm gonna go check his plate out actually. Can't see it from over here. Mm. 
All units be on the lookout for a black VAP stainer, possible stolen vehicle. Uh, license plate's going to be Sarah Adam Boy 00100. If you see that vehicle, please call it in. ETA, lol. Auto have loan dispatch. Go ahead. Do you want a uh, quick plate check for me? 10, 4, 45, 11, go ahead with your plate check. It's going to be 2, 2, Victor, Zulu, India, 490. 10, 4, 10, Oh, by. God. Oh. Dispatch, 45, 11, your return GTA. when ready. GTA. Uh, send, please, 45, 11. That license plate is going to be coming back insured to Daniel yeah. Nichols. Daniel Nichols, copy. Uh, any wants the warrants? Stand by. 4511 negative, no priors, no wants, no warrants. Driver's license is valid for Daniel Nichols. Copy that. Could you uh, roll me a 32 uh, to its uh, place uh, drive down here in uh, Elysian Islands, please? It's the uh, aforementioned shipyards, last call. 10 for any units in the area. 706 showing you 10 and 7 to that location. Holy crap, GTA. Port 511 to unit responding. Uh, lights off, please. 10 4. Goddamn GTA. Hey, um, just got called down here a little bit earlier for a suspicious person. Uh, hanging around taking pictures. I approached someone who matched the description. I spoke to them and uh, said he was on a layover for a cruise here for a couple of hours. It kind of spiked my attention that he had a car and it didn't have rental plates. Uh, it's come back to a Daniel Nichols. I've just run the plate and. Like I say, I saw him over there taking pictures. He was outside buildings, which is fine. Yeah, he apparently takes pictures for his De Urban Decay blog. So, yeah. Urban Decay blog was the reason. That's not that's a fair reason. Uh, so, I didn't know what to do. So, I kind of had a quick look around. And he's driven over here. And I just spotted him inside this uh, this shipyard building. So, do you mind coming with me? I'm going to try and go in there and have a look for him. See if he's wandered where he shouldn't be, okay? Oh, yeah, no problem. Appreciate it. seeing anything here. Let's keep an eye on that other door, actually. I'm just going to go around this side. So if you work in from the door, I'll cover this side. Yeah, sure. I'm going to slip out while we're here. I did see him in there taking pictures a minute ago. I mean, it's Urban Decay, then it's Urban Decay, and I don't like this one bit. Hey, you boys see a guy walking here recently, leather jacket, uh, camera? No? No. Thanks, guys. I don't see anything. Sir? Sir? Oh, hello. Sir. See something? Oh, hey, officer. Hello again. How are you doing today, sir? I'm doing okay. I was just looking for the restrooms, and I think I found what they look like porta potties. I can't hey, uh, door to Mr. Nichols. Is that your name? Yeah. Daniel Nichols? It is. It okay, is. Mr. Nichols. A um, couple of questions for you. Uh, okay, you might be looking for the restrooms, but. I wasn't so kind of sure on your story you gave us before because someone on layover for a cruise for a couple of hours wouldn't really rent a car and it's funny how this car comes back as registered to you you've just confirmed your name for me and 
you were just outside the buildings. We spoke. That was all cool and fine. Now, I drove around so I could find your car. Because uh, you took off into a worker's area with it. And all of a sudden, I drive past to just have a run on your plate. And I see you inside taking pictures in the other side of the building. Over that way. So, you want to come clean with us? I mean, what are you up to in here? Because this doesn't sound like you're a tourist. You're not on a layover for a cruise, are you? No, no, I, there, there's no cruise involved. But like you said, I'm allowed to take pictures here in the public areas. And I thought this area was public. I mean, there's no trespassing signs or anything like that that I ran across. Well, typically most uh, businesses don't tend to have trespassing signs because especially once you're inside a bonded area, like you are past those, uh, those fences outside, there's a kind of borderline of kind of you know, public access, but... This is distinctly inside a property here, and there are people working, so it's not an abandoned building. And you are taking pictures of materials within within this building. Obviously, it's not a secure building, of course. It's what the literal crap was at. But something isn't ringing true in this story. Are you, is there a, a blog, even? Is this something to do with something else? I mean, this is an active construction site, essentially. It's a shipbuilding facility, so... It's a little dangerous for the general public to be wandering around in. Did you speak to anyone here at all? No, I mean, no no, no one. I didn't see a reception or anything like that. I'm just taking some pictures, seeing how they do things here. Okay, seeing how they do things. Um, what, for out of personal interest or out of professional interest? Or uh, are you just a fan of ships? No personal interest. I mean, I, I had some friends that work for a company up in San Fierro, but I just personally have interest in the stuff. They, they, they seem to describe some interesting uh, interesting stuff with how they build their ships up there. So I figured, how do they build ships down here? And maybe there'd be some interest of my friends about that. Fair enough. Um, okay, look, I'm going to have to ask you to leave this property because this is not a public place. Um, like I said, you would be okay to be outside as you were before. But... Uh, you know, we have had reports of you been around the area. Now you have entered a private location, so we are actually going to have to ask you to leave. Are you going to be uh, okay? That's fine. I'll compliant with us today. Get out of here. Yeah, yeah. yeah I thank you very much. Well, uh, your car's outside in the parking lot. As soon as I move my cruiser, you can uh, hop on in and you can take off. I'd suggest finding somewhere else to take okay. pictures of today and try not to enter private property again. All right? Yeah, sir. I appreciate the assistance. Thank you very much, Mr. Nichols. I appreciate you being compliant with us today, but uh, I am going to have to escort you off the premises at this time, okay? Yeah, yeah, definitely. So, uh, oh. Ah, that, ow, rock. <laughs> What's your footing there, Mr. Nichols? Are you okay there? Oh. Um, yeah, yeah, just a little one rock. One second. What's this? Oh, it's just an itinerary for the uh, for how to get down here and back up to San Fierro. I'm not around this area normally. Okay. Um. Hey, trooper. Yes, ma'am. I mean, I'm no expert, but this looks like plans to me. Design specifications for some sort of boat. And based on the branding on that paper, that belongs to this company. So, are you stealing from this property, sir? Or did that just trip and fall into your pocket? That's just a souvenir. I mean, it's just laying around on the floor. It, it, no one's going to miss it. I don't think blueprints like that, that the engineers worked their ass off on, is a souvenir. I don't think this sort of place has gift shops, do you, Trooper? Okay, um, I can run this through dispatch, but what's your, uh, obviously you, you were not, well, you are now being detained at this point because we've now found on your person property belonging to this company. You've been trespassing. 
and it's becoming clearer and clearer that your intentions were to steal. So, can I ask what your profession is? Maybe I build those boats up in San Diego. Okay. So, let me throw a sequence of events together. Alright? You build boats, and I found you skulking around this shipyard, which also builds boats. You're taking pictures, and from what I've just found here, that fell out of your pocket when you tripped over. Borrowing their plans too, so perhaps you like their boats better than your own. Are you familiar with the expression industrial espionage, sir? No, nothing like that. I mean, guys are curious. They undercut by 20%. Guy wonders how they do that. You know, hypothetically here, of course, you know, your lawyer can establish with my lawyer what happened, and we can go through that whole process if that's the way this needs to go. Crafty, crafty guy. Well, I'm afraid it is, actually. Um, look, uh, Mr. Nichols, I'm going to have to ask you to uh, face the wall behind us, please, for a moment. I'm going to be placing you under arrest at this time. What's his number? Uh, 15. Okay, Mr. Nichols, you're being placed under arrest for the charge of industrial espionage. Or in this case, felony theft and felony trespassing. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you do say can and will be held against you in a court of law. You have the right to an attorney. You cannot afford one, one will be provided for you. You can send these rights, I've read them to you. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Mr. Nichols, please come with me to my cruiser, please. I'm freaking Canadian, I'm being so polite. Forty thirteen, I'm on scene of that wait, traffic start. Wait, 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 wait. Ten hop in the back, please. Before you go ahead and hop in there, I'm gonna need to search check. Oh, that's a damn good point. Okay. Can you go ahead and Let's catch the trooper? Please? Alright, anything on you inside your pockets, inside the uh, inside of your jacket or in the back of your pants pocket? Check his camera bag as well. No, I'm, you know, all you're gonna have is the camera bag. Not just the camera in there. Okay, I'm gonna take the bag off you and put it on the back of the, the car if you don't mind, okay? Okay. I'll just go through that. Okay, so I've now found inside this bag one crowbar. Place that on the trunk of the cruiser for evidence purposes. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and search your vehicle now this time, sir. You can be honest, you can, am I going to find anything in there or are we going to play guessing games again? Nah, I didn't have time to get to the vehicle. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and put you back here. I don't trust him. Okay. 40 13, we had one in custody. Will be code four. Ten four. Okay, I've got an ID card here, and there's some handwritten notes here which look to be directions down to this location. Not finding much else in the car that's of any suspicion, no weapons, no illegal substances. Yeah, I don't see anything either. This is looking more and more like an open and shut case to be honest, but I don't get this much of this stuff going on. Uh, control three one all units. Control right, three one okay. to be ten five. Uh, uh, competitive business is try going on here. Well yeah, I mean small ship buildings, not exactly uh ocean liners, you must be uh struggling a little bit if he's resorting to this sort of thing. Let's just close yeah, the damn doors properly. Lordship business is definitely uh, a little bit different, I'll tell you. Well, thanks for the support here, uh, Trooper. I'm going to get this guy back to the station and book him. I'll go ahead and get this impounded for you. Copy that. I'll call it in now on my way, don't worry. 
Forty-five eleven dispatch. Forty-five eleven dispatch. I'll get any dispatch. Forty-five eleven dispatch. Ah, no worries. I'll call it in when he gets back. Thank you. Rump. I can't even take a full hour lunch. So the boat building business not going too well. I'm taking it then. No, not really. All the uh, foreign labor has driven costs down too far for me to be able to compete. Well, you know there are better ways to deal with these things. So, as, uh, Buying is not the way. I mean, I know things might be tough and it might seem like an attractive option at this sort of time, but unless you can't recommend it, I mean, look at the situation you found yourself in. I mean, we've got evidence on you that you've been inside the property. We have tools designed for breaking and entering. You've been taking pictures. We've got this card from your camera. You tried to leave the property with blueprints. It's a pretty open and shut case and you've put yourself in a situation i mean obviously you've been struggling i understand that it's not easy times for anybody but there are other options and this didn't have to be the way yeah i guess you're right i'm not cut out to be a crook obviously we, that didn't last very long no and obviously you've been compliant with me and i'll i'll pass it on when i file my report and Maybe the judge can be lenient to you, but unfortunately, you have broken the law, sir, and this is simply the situation you find yourself in. Yeah, that's fair. Dispatch is still not back yet, so we'll wait to call it in. 4013. I saw lights behind me, something else going on. Where am I going to go to? I'll just go to the uh, station up here. Actually, now I'll take him up to Mission Row. Be easier. Need to get to the bridge up here, though, I think. Next one up. Might take a second or two. We'll book him in properly. Did I think I wasn't planning to record today? And I put it on on the way to the call from a hunch? I mean, you get a hunch at this sort of time after doing this quite a while now. You start to get a, ooh, this could be something. Try and get through this traffic a little bit, bend a couple of rules. He'll be the next turning up, so I need to go straight here. Oh, traffic in this city. What part of San Fierro are you from? Out of the stuff, Spain, yeah. You know, I'll find it in the dock. There's a little housing community there. I was able to find a cheap place at. Fair enough. I grew up up in uh, Tierra Rabada, the north of the city. Okay, yeah, no. I've, I've been up there a time or two. Not as uh, nice as being down in San Fierro itself. Pretty dusty, but it's home. Yeah, I mean, San Fierro. Off the charts these days, anyway. Oh, it's incredibly expensive as a city. Los Santos isn't much better, though. Uh, I'm normally up in Blaine County, up in uh, Lito Bay, but I'm down here for work, so they've moved offices down here because of shortages. So, you're unfortunate day, or fortunate, depending on how you look at it, and I'm just kind of taking a wrong exit, the wrong lane, even. I hear Plato's not a bad city. I've never been, never been able to make it up there. It's good. Reasonably priced up there, and there's, uh, there's some boat industry, actually. So if you get out of... Well, when you get out of prison or whatever you end up getting for this, I suspect it'll probably be maybe a small sentence or a suspended sentence, as uh, so you've got no priors on record from what we've just looked up uh, a little bit earlier. You might get a suspended sentence. I'd highly suggest you uh, take a look up there, and there is some work going around. Yeah, I made dinner. I appreciate the advice. Hopefully the judge is nice and lenient. 
Okay, I can understand you are not a professional criminal and you are not doing this as your day job. Made a mistake, you're on hard times. Again, the judge can be lenient because of that. It's a first time offense. I'd rather see you find success and find a life than repeat offend because people can end up in that sort of situation. Do it once because of good reasons and things end up becoming a cycle and we don't want that to happen. Yeah. yeah if you do have a, a sentence and you get out or if you get suspended, head up to Polito. I know some guys. I'll hook you up, okay? Definitely, yeah, I appreciate that. Small town, small town people. We look after each other, but, you know, I don't want to see you, you know, back doing this sort of thing again. I want to see you finding a job and finding a life and you're struggling up there. You know, there's other options. Yep. Listen to me, I sound like a social worker than a cop. Okay, so would you hop out the uh, does indeed hop out the vehicle for me? Okay, just walk on uh, into the station ahead of me, please. Let me just grab this out of the trunk. Okay, sir, so follow me. Forty five eleven dispatch. Forty five eleven, go ahead. Yeah, 4511 has one uh, suspect in custody booking him in a Mission Road station at this time. Uh, one vehicle which has been uh, towed. 7006 arranged for that. Inform me. 10 4. Now he's actually back. 4013 dispatch. Go ahead. You took dispatch for a second while we deal with this. Okay, so standing from the desk for me for a second. Okay, so I'm going to uncuff you for a second and I'm going to need you to basically stamp your fingerprints for me. Okay, so I need you to take one finger at a time. I need you to roll it in ink pad and then roll it across this uh, marker for you, me on this form here. One finger per box. Is that your left hand, pinky finger? Yep. Okay, once you've done that hand, your right hand as well. The next set of five boxes, starting with the thumb. Okay, and it's uh, Daniel Nichols, yes? Yes, Daniel Nichols. Okay, sir, if you want to stand across uh, behind, across that door for me and face me, please. Sorry, say that again. Sorry, I just have to put you back in handcuffs. Uh, do you want to stand in front of the grey door for me and face me? Female camera animation doesn't work. Okay, thank you very much. So, head through this uh, blue door for me. And step into this cell, please. Okay. Face away from me. Okay, Mr. Nichols, like I said, I appreciate you've been uh, cooperative with me. And I appreciate that things haven't been always perfect in this situation. Like I said... Your compliance and your situation will be noted by the judge. It'll go a long way. So, mistakes can be made, but at the same time, they don't have to be repeat mistakes. Okay? I'll put a word in. Yep, and I agree. I'd rather see you out there finding a life and finding a way to make a living than being back out in the streets doing it again, okay? Yeah, great to see you help, officer. Okay, well, you take it easy and. Well. It's awkward, I've never talked to a suspect this long before. But as I should say, have a good night. Okay. First time for everything, whether it's good or bad. It is indeed. Maybe I'll see you around in Polito Bay one day, huh? <laughs> that was different. That was very different. 
Row six dispatches. Uh, that was really different. Ten four. Forty-five eleven traffic. Uh, at ten eight at this time. Forty thirteen. This was very different. Traffic. This was very different. Very 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 different. I enjoyed that though. The spidey sense of turning on OBS was worth it. I need to have that in the background and have a shortcut set up again. Well, we didn't get to use the car much other than driving at slow speeds through traffic code one, but not that. Lovely, lovely LSPD Taurus. I'll have to use this more in the future. Oh, back on patrol, guys. So I will sign off. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye.